today. I'm at the Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame in uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas to see what country music legends have been inducted here. So let's take a look. The first thing you see as you enter the museum is uh, an animation type figure of Johnny Cash. There's a button below. If you push it, Johnny will start singing some of his uh, hit songs. And of course, of copyright laws, I can't play that for you, but it was awesome to hear. There's a picture of Johnny when he was in the third grade in Arkansas. And I will mention that this uh, museum isn't just of country music stars, which they were hoping to have, but they said uh, due to not being as many as they'd like, they ended up just making an entertainer's one. But I'm going to focus mainly on just the country music stars today. As you can see, Johnny keeps singing to me. As we walk a little farther around, you'll see a picture of Johnny uh, from the 1990s, it said. Also, I will make mention at this time that there were photos not of every inductee up on the, the wall and displayed, but I want to show you the one uh, of Johnny Cash. And uh, the one at the bottom here on the left, I think that may be Jimmy Driftwood, but not sure if you know, let me know. But there's a picture of Johnny on that one. On the other side is Patsy Montana, a country western singer, and the guys that uh, did Lum and Abner on the radio. Next, we'll head on to uh, some of the display cases. And once again, I'll say I'm sorry for the reflections, but everything's behind glass. Here's uh, one of Charlie Rich, and uh, he, he's best known for his song probably Behind Closed Doors. Has one of his gold records up there, one of his jackets, and also uh, you'll see his hat. It looks like the same one that's in that picture there in the display. When Charlie was first starting out with his uh, music and all, he tried to get a uh, deal with Sun Records and that was unsuccessful, but they did bring him on to be a session musician backing up singers such as Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis and Roy Orbison, just to name a few. Uh, in 1973, uh, Charlie would uh, get a hit with The Most Beautiful Girl, and he earned him four different awards. That's some of the things it tells on the uh, the information there on him, and in 1974, he would be named Entertainer of the Year. It also shows a couple of his awards there. I think that's pretty neat that they uh, would donate it to the museums and all. Well, as we scan just a little farther down the case, we see a Twitty bird, and it can only mean one thing. We're going to be seeing a little bit on Conway Twitty, and uh, he was, along with Charlie uh, Rich and uh, Johnny Cash and Glenn Campbell, were uh, one of the first inductees in 1996 to the, to the museum. And there's a picture of Johnny Cash's house that still exists in uh, Arkansas. But here is Conway's shirt and one of his uh, caps that has Twitty on it. And you look at that off at a distance, you first think that's Elvis. No, that's not Elvis. That's a young Conway Twitty when he was doing more of a rockabilly type singing. Of course, there's a famous picture that everybody's seen a whole lot. I guess they didn't have it quite as much on Johnny Cash, uh, just a picture of his house in there with him and June because they had the big animation uh, figure in the front. Also a picture of him when he was a little boy and a picture when he was in one of the movies that he uh, performed in. And I, as I mentioned, the house still in existence today, and you can take tours of it. Don't think we'll be able to, to make it uh, that part of Arkansas. But it could be on my to-do list. There he is with Bob Dylan. And it could take you a long time to read all the information on uh, each star and different things uh, about them or donated what they did or what they wore and when they wore it and all. Next, we're going to go to Glenn Campbell. And uh, it's got him there with uh, Roy Clark, but there's a guitar of Glenn Campbell's. 
and it even has uh, one of his uh, Larius with his mother's brothers. But up above it, you're going to see a uh, framed gold record that he received for Rhinestone Cowboy. I think it's pretty neat that uh, the um, country music uh, people, or any of the entertainers for that matter, donated some of their prized possessions uh, so the public like myself can enjoy it. As you look at uh, Glenn's guitar again, uh, and the picture that he was with Roy uh, Clark, it looks like it may be the exact same guitar that's there. And I'll have to admit I forgot to read on the guitar under it to see if that is what it said or not. And uh, it, Glenn Campbell had his own show for a while. Next we're going to head over to the uh, KT Oslin exhibit and there it has a pair of her shoes and also an outfit that KT wore. Part of KT's uh, information on her uh, tells that uh, uh, she wore that outfit at the uh, Country Music Association Awards in 1988 and that uh, that's the year where she won Song of the Year and Female Vocalist of the Year. K.T. Oslin is not only known for her singing but also as a songwriter and she was very proud of uh, the songs she, she wrote and all. Next to her we're going to be looking at that of uh, Patsy Montana. She was a country western a musician and said she never gave up her cow uh, girl image uh, as the, the hat there is one that she wore uh, in the latter part of her career. And next to that you're going to be seeing um, an outfit that uh, Tracy Lawrence wore. The information on Tracy Lawrence there says that he wore that jacket at the 1995 uh, performance at the Academy of Country Music's annual awards telecast. Next we'll scan up to take a look at a couple of pictures of uh, Tracy Lawrence. There is one of them as he's performing and the other one might have been a, an album cover, I'm not sure, but since we're also seeing Al Green in it, I will mention that Al was a soul singer, rhythm and blues and gospel singer-songwriter and he's probably best remembered for his uh, song, Let's uh, Stay Together. But now we're moving on over to Twilla Paris. Twilla was a uh, Christian singer, or gospel singer as some would say, and I think it's pretty neat that it has uh, one of her Dove Awards uh, there on display. Well, we'll move on to the next case, and it's not because it's a country music uh, person that's there that caught my eye on this one. I have to show it because uh, this was one of the uh, TV shows that uh, my son loved when he was growing up. It was Buck Rogers and it's dedicated to uh, the inductee Gil Garrard and there's one of his shirts. And of course he's in a space uh, ship there. Well back to my mission on uh, country music uh, stars and now we're going to be looking at uh, the thing on Barbara Fairchild. She may best be remembered as a country gospel singer and a songwriter. She's best probably known for her country song, the Teddy Bear Song. And uh, the dress there that it shows of hers, it says she wore that at a performances in Br uh, Branson, Missouri. Now we'll head on over to, looks like a single display case to see who's uh, in that one. And it is one of the first inductees in 1996, that of Floyd Kramer. And there's 
uh, looks like a famous red jacket, and he may even have it on in the, that picture, or it may be just a duplicate that he had more than one red jacket. So the picture was taken in about the 1990s. And I like that it shows that uh, uh, Floyd uh, prepared a list prior to him going on stage every time of the uh, the songs that he would play, and he would place that envelope on the piano during his performance, and it tells that that was one of the set lists that he uh, had on the piano in 1992. Of course, you may recognize uh, some of those. It's uh, Jerry Reed along with Johnny and June Cash there, and Last Date was his biggest song. Glimpse of Glenn Campbell and Charlie Rich at the top, and under Glenn is Harry Tom Thomason, a Hollywood uh, producer, and under Charlie was Dick Powell, an actor. Now on to the next display case, which is that of the Browns, which included Jim Ed Brown and his sisters, Maxine and Bonnie. In his later years, Jim Ed uh, would end up performing uh, solo some, and it's pretty neat they have award here given, and it's got like a double uh, thing on it, one on the actual top of the trophy and then one at the bottom, but it means the same. It said they were 1965 given this for either calling it the best uh, singing group or the best vocal group. As we walk around on the other side of it, we're going to see uh, a couple of dresses that uh, was worn by the sisters, a, Maxine so and Bonnie. Well, something else kind of caught my eye. Of course, if uh, being from Tennessee, if you see a picture of Elvis, you got to look at it, and it uh, lets you know that Julie Adams, uh, uh, actress that was from Arkansas, was in the movie Tickle Me with Elvis. And uh, also, I think this is very neat, the uh, uh, thing on Bronco Billy Anderson, who was an actor, writer, film director, and producer. It has his actual award that he got for being inducted into uh, this Arkansas Entertainers uh, Hall of Fame. And that's a good thing to get to see what uh, they would receive if they were inducted into it. Next in the corner, we see a picture of Skeets McDonald. Uh, he was considered a country or honky-tonk or even a rockabilly type singer-songwriter. He's probably best known for Don't Let the Stars Get in Your Eyes. And it has a little information on him, but the object that they were going to show of Skeets is, is out of the display at the present time. So on to the next one. Next we're going to be getting a glimpse of the 2005 inductees. And the first one we're looking at there is of uh, Colin Ray. It has a guitar that he has signed, and I also uh, like that he signed it, uh, God Bless the Arkansas, on it. And then it has a pair of his boots, as you can see. It's got the, the his initial R on it. And there's a signature that I was talking about. Next over to him is another country uh, music star that is uh, Lefty Frizzell. Lefty Frizzell has been inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame among his many other uh, songs and things that he's done. Now to the next country music uh, person, it's Ed Bruce. Ed was not only a singer, but a songwriter as well as an uh, actor. And here it shows one of the many roles he was famous for is on the show Maverick. And up at the top, it has a uh, platinum record that uh, is really neat that Ed, along with his wife Patsy at the time, uh, got a platinum record for uh, selling a million copies of a record. In the next display case, we find that it's from the 2003 inductees, and we'll be looking at the boots and jeans and a jacket that belong to Ronnie Dunn of the duo Brooks and Dunn. To close out my video, we'll take a look at a pretty little frilly outfit that was worn in a movie, 
and I'd like to say thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you have a good day.